Good evening, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. This is in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. If you hear something in the background, that's Zach. He's playing his games with his friends. Ignore him. <laughs> We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn and something we don't deserve. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. Once you come to the end of yourself and admit you're a sinner in need of a savior and you accept Christ as savior and you put your faith and trust in him, you are justified by the blood of Jesus at that point. You are sealed by the Holy Spirit according to Ephesians 4.30 and you will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will lead you. The Holy Spirit will guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. The Holy Spirit will change you. But most of all, you are sealed until the day of redemption. This just came in, and this is off the Daily, uh, Daily Mail. Ukrainian soldier is killed by Russian separatist mortar attack as Putin demands NATO keep out of Eastern Europe amid warning of an invasion. Now, he's threatening also his supersonic missile. This has gone beyond. I think war has already broken out in Ukraine. A Ukrainian soldier has been killed in a mortar attack by suspected Russian separatists and fighting around the border amid fears Moscow is about to invade. One soldier died and another one was injured after Ukrainian positions came under fire from machine guns, mortars, and grenade launchers overnight. The Ukrainian Defense Minister's, uh, Ministry said today without giving exact details. It comes amid a massive buildup of troops on the Russian side of the border with Moscow on Friday laying out a list of demands for the U.S. and its NATO allies. This has gone beyond serious. The Kremlin was uh, once guarantees that Ukraine will never be allowed to join NATO and that no more troops will be sent to other Eastern European nations, the state media said. It comes after Putin spoke angrily of red lines, which he said were not being respected in recent weeks. So, NATO has also been told abandon all military activ activities in Eastern Europe and to call on a halt to uh, military drills in border zones. I told you these drills were not drills. <laughs> Russia wants guarantees that no short or medium range missile will move into zones where they can strike its territory that neither side do anything that could be perceived as a threat. And that information on drills should be regularly shared. It also wants general agreements in place that neither side perceives the other as a threat. And that everything will be done to avoid the use of force. Russian state uh, newswires published the list on Friday as Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Rabkov said the U.S. and NATO have so far rejected the ideas and called the response not encouraging. Not encouraging. Moscow said the proposals were handed over to the United States earlier this week in an attempt to ease tensions that have been building in Eastern Europe for months. At a briefing with journalists, um, Sergei said Russia was ready to hold urgent security talks with the United States as early as mm, tomorrow, Saturday. We are ready to immediately, even tomorrow, literally tomorrow, on Saturday, it says, 
to go for talks with the U.S. in a third country, he said, noting that Geneva was suggested to the Americans. Kiev has been battling a pro-Moscow insurgency in two breakaway regions bordering Russia since 2014 when the Kremlin annexed Ukraine's uh, Crimea Peninsula. I'm going to link this in the description box. And... Folks, this is bad. This is getting real bad. I'm going to link it in the description box. And I have some articles on my blog as well that you're going to want to look at, especially about um, the new variant. But I'm going to link the rest of this in the description box. It says... He talks about... Um, bringing out uh, his missile in this article. And it also says here, but we also take into account the beginning of World War III. Meanwhile, it says NATO Secretary General Hans Stolzenberg has set conditions for working with Russia on new security proposal and offered to work with Moscow to build fresh confidence and tensions are ease with Ukraine. This is not letting up. This is not letting up, especially since someone got killed. So I will link this in the description box. And if anything else comes up, I will be back with more about this. Thank you.